it will be the problem with the letter. And the answer is here with us. I am not God. That is the result. Sad result because I was thinking that I am God. Oh, okay. Okay, thank you. Hi, teacher. Hi, how are you doing today? Uh, good. Doing well. Good. I was talking with Tiffany about uh, the answer of the questions, the exercise 5.4. And I told her that uh, I am uh, sad because I understand that I am not God. I am good. Yes. In the platform, in the in the platform, it is only one uh, O, and I confuse. O by A. Okay, so you're confused with the exercise number five from the platform. Yes, pero ya ya lo resolví. Uh, really, but it, was it the one that you sent over WhatsApp or it was a different one? Through the WhatsApp. Oh, okay. Yes. But the real thing is that I am not God. I'm good. That you're good? <laughs> but I am not God. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I know that you are good, and the good thing here is that you are trying and you're practicing. And um, I suppose that you already finished those exercises as well. The question is for me. Yes. 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 Okay. Awesome. I finished all. You finish all the platform? Yeah, because it's, it's, I think that is very easy if you are. Listen, the exercise and put it to practice and put it to practice is easy. That is correct. Uh, everything is about practice. But there is uh, something that case like this because uh, the, it's a mistake with letters, but it's, uh, it's okay. Yes, uh, sometimes are uh, errors on the platform. Yes. And sometimes is that even though there are more than one possibility, uh, or, or one or uh, more than one possible answer, but the platform just recognized a specific answer, yeah, or two or yeah. three options. So I understand that sometimes that that can it, it takes to be patient to solve that exercise, <laughs> yeah, because I, I was trying a lot of time with the anyone forms, and I'm so tired and I can't, okay, I'll see, wait, wait, wait. Wait. <laughs> yeah, I understand that. Yeah, it takes patience to solve those exercises. But uh, congratulations because you are very, very, very constant on this. And that, that is something that will be um, rewarded at the end. Okay. So, um, me too. Me too, teacher. I finished the platform. Excellent, congratulations. And yes, thank you as well for your patience and for asking uh, for help. Remember that if you have any uh, exercise that is um, making you yeah, like wasting the time and you try once and you try it again and nothing is working, you can write on the WhatsApp group. Uh, sometimes I okay. take long to reply because um, I am working and um, yes, so it's kind of difficult for me to get into the platform, check and give an answer. But whenever I have the time, I do it. So you can write and I'm going to be there to help you or your classmates too. You can also help, right? And that is the, the objective of having a WhatsApp group is to help each other. And uh, yes, um, I just received a message for from administration and uh, most of you are doing okay. It is just a couple of people that are still behind with the exercises. So please, please um, complete them. You have to have at least the section one and two finished. If you can go ahead and, and uh, do more than that, 
it's very, very welcome. So, um, do you have any question besides those exercises? Is there any other exercise that you would like to check? Maybe the rest of the class? Byron? Hi, good evening. Uh, it's just like a question for the for the part of the video we we may we have a discussion. Uh, do you verify or the or someone else verify the details about or is necessary is isn't necessary to make it to make it the discussion forums. Yeah. Okay, that one is not evaluated. Uh, it is not uh, mandatory that you complete those. Uh, you can do it or you can uh, just omit them and it's not gonna hurt. Okay, and something else. And if we, we add the, some examples or because I made some of them, uh, you are gonna give us a review in, in the same part or someone else, like if it's a mistake on the sentence or something like that? We that do, we yes, we do review. Uh, we check the platform, we watch uh, the, we read the comments, we read the exercise that you do. And at the end of the course, the, the last week, we make a review and we can, and we consider all those details that we have previously checked. Okay, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. And also, if there is a particular topic that is not really clear for you, you can ask me to review that specific topic and I, I can do that. Uh, usually I finish the, the content from the module like two days before. That is because I think one hour to review, it's not enough. So I try to have the last two classes for review and practice. So if you have a specific topic that you would like to review, let me know. And that is for all of you, not only for Byron. I see you're very quiet there. <laughs> I don't know if you're listening, but I hope you are there. Okay, teacher, thank you. Okay. Uh, is there any other question, Maylin? I see your hand is raised, Maylin. Hi, teacher. Hi, Maylin. What is the time for the finish the lecture? Uh, the section or all the module? All section. Uh, we expect to have all finished by the fourth week. But in order to uh, to make like um, because uh, yeah, people from administration they are checking the grades. They did it today, and they told me that a couple of people is um uh, is presenting like a zero percent on the exercises. So they are constantly checking, and the the minimum that you should have. Uh, uh, completed by this week is section one and two. Thanks, because for me it's a, a little difficult to, because I work in a, a 6 p.m. and then the working is go to house and the house is uh, washing my boys and other, other things in the house because for instance, my question. Yes, uh, I, I understand. And something important is that um, the platform, you can access the 24 seven. And there is no limited time for you to practice. Uh, normally people say, oh, the course is, is, is 40 hours. But for the platform, you have unlimited time. You can solve the exercise Saturday, Sunday, at night, very early in the morning. So you, you can do that. 
Thanks, teacher. I understand. You're welcome. And and also, if you need help with exercises, please send it to the WhatsApp group and we are going to help you. Thanks. Okay, anybody else? Okay, so we're going to continue. And we we'll stopped yesterday. Let me share my screen. Oh God, this is just, all right. Uh, this is where we stopped yesterday. Um, yes, right or no? Uh, no, it's not this one. I think is, yeah, this one. It, we were studying about infinitives and gerunds too. Uh, for uses and purposes. So we're going to start from here. And we were practicing with uh, gerunds is a two plus the verb and then the, with the gerund, which is adding ing to the verbs. So watch this uh, exercise and choose the correct word to complete each sentence. And also we need to use the correct form of the verb. For example, the number one, it's already done for you. That's an example. Yes, let me move this. Right, so number one, robots are used to, and we have find, perform, study, many dangerous job. So the correct word here is perform. And we use perform because we see the, the particle two here, meaning that we are going to use them in infinitive. Okay. I'll give you a couple of minutes for you to take a look to this exercise and complete it in your notebook. You can just go ahead and write the answers. It's not necessary for you to write the complete sentence. Have you finished? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, volunteer yes. to read the sentence number two. Can I do it? Okay, Jose, go ahead. Thank you so much. Computers are used to download music. Excellent. Good job. Uh, number three, a volunteer? Me too. I heard just a voice, but I, I, I don't see who was it. Me too. <laughs> okay, Stephanie, thank you so much. Satellites are used for transmit radio program, programs. Okay, um, 100% sure. 
no teacher no i no. can help you no. uh, okay ruben what is your answer okay i chose the satellite are used for transmit radio programs Mm, uh, still missing something. I think uh, transmitting. Yes, transmitting. Radio program. Why? Yeah. Why? Because where is it for? Uh, yes, exactly. Remember that there is a preposition for. So we need to use the ing for the verb. Satellites are used for transmitting radio transmitting programs. Radio programs is that right? Yes, because we have the preposition there. So after a preposition, remember ing. Excellent job. Uh, <laughs> we forget it. <laughs> yeah, but don't you don't have to feel bad about it. Even though you are in intermediate level, believe me, hay gente que esté en avanzado y aún hay cositas del presente simple que se le van y esto del ing. Créame, es que es práctica. Entonces no se sientan mal si dicen, no, pero puchica se nos olvidó y, y ay, que el nivel. No, esto es así. Eh, de hecho, hay cosas que uno a veces dice, ay, si yo ni aprendo, pero cómo no. <risa> Les cuento que yo incluso me gradué y yo dije, a saber cómo, porque ni hablo esta cosa. <risa> pero de repente el conocimiento está ahí y cuando se tiene que usar, se usa, ¿verdad? Lo mismo pasa, esto no lo practica tanto, lo practica tanto hasta que un día ya estas cosas ya no se le olvidan. Entonces ahorita es como que yo creo que muchos hicieron esto como que, ah. <risa> pero sí, es por eso, porque quiere práctica. So, don't feel bad. It's awesome that you did it and that you say, ah, okay, it's because there is a preposition and then a gerund. So it's okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let us continue with number four. A volunteer? Me, teacher. Okay. Uh, Home computers are used to pay bills. Okay, are used to pay bills. After two, bird, simple form. Excellent. Uh, number five. Volunteer? Sure. Mm -hmm. okay. Number Ooh. five, external hard drives are used for backupping by that. Okay, very good because you are the ING. Something important is that when there is a two part verb, the first part is going to take the ING. Cuando vean verbos que son de two parts, como el backup, el ING se le pone a la primera palabra. En este caso sería. Backing up. Backing up. Ajá. Cuando hay do, un verbo de dos palabras, de sus compound verbs, el ING se le pone al primer verbo. So in this case, backing up. External hard drives are used for backing up data. So excellent job. And see, that is why it's important. I can give you the answers, but that is not the purpose. The purpose is that you learn and that you practice. So thank you so much. Uh, let us see, uh, the last one, number six. Uh, yo. <laughs> yes, um, thank you. Uh, airport, airport scanners are used to find dangerous items. Yes, excellent items. Airport scanners are used to find dangerous items. Excellent job. Items, items. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Perfect. Good job. So let us continue practicing. Uh, exercising and practicing as everything. So let us see what do we have for this exercise. Check the technology and what it does. Then write sentences using be used to or are used to, it's used to. So in this case, you're going to use it with infinitive, just infinitive. Um, we have the first one, number one, it says text messages, cell phone and photocopies. So I'm going to use those two words, text messages and cell phone. And then I write the sentence. A cell phone is used to 
send text messages. I'll give you time for you to complete the number two, three, four, and five as in the example. I think I want to use Germany to use the third information. Okay, have you finished? Yes, fine. Yes. Okay, I'll volunteer to read number two. Me, teacher. 
Okay, Gerardo, thank you so much. Okay, the MP4 player is used to watch video. Excellent, thank you so much. Byron, number three. Satellites are used for checking the weather. Okay, you did it with Jaron. Excellent. It was okay. Very good. Oh. Uh, <laughs> yes, that's okay. Y saben que si así con un poquito más de tiempo, tal vez lo puedan hacer de las dos formas. It's okay no limitarse a solo una forma. Sí. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, uh, number four. Volunteer. Eh, voy a intentarlo. Excelente. Este, eh, video camera eh, used to record the videos. Eh, video camera is used to record the video. Excelente. I see here David. And the number five is the internet is used to find information. And yes, to find the information. Very good. Thank you so much for your participation. Cuando levanten la manita, no la bajen, porque de repente veo manita y yo, ¿quién era? Desapareció, desapareció. <laughs> Ahí está, Steve fue el que bajó la manita. Do you have any difference, Steve? Yes, teacher, uh, I have a question. Is the correct the sentence, for example, the four, the video camera is used to make a lot of videos? Yes, excellent. You add more to the sentences. It's okay. Excellent. Well done. <laughs> Grammatically correct. Yes. Uh, questions, comments, or we go to the next slide. Next slide. All right. So for the next one is pronunciation and syllable stress. Uh, previously right. and other courses, I know that you have discussed about what the stress is. So we're going to watch the video and then we're going to practice a little bit this stuff. Let's share the screen. Now I'll share the sound. And uh, action. Pronunciation. Syllable stress. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice which syllable has the main Notice stress. Satellite. Internet. Photograph. Invention. Assignment. Computer. CD-ROM. Engineer. Entertain. Entertain. Where is the stress in these words? Can you pronounce them? Very good. Can you repeat with me? Languages, telephone, Languages. transmission, Telephone. robotics, understand, VCR, 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 VCR. So as you could see, the stress is where um, we raise the voice tone that is called stress. Okay. Questions about this? He's an engineer, right, teacher? I'm sorry? Engineer? Engineer. 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 Uh -huh. Engineer. Engineer. Mm -hmm. Engineer. Remember and take advantage of the platform. Pueden eh, tomar ventaja de la plataforma. Acuérdense que es, está 24-7 y pueden darle play. Ah. Pueden repetir en su en el tiempo que tengan. Pueden, este, pues, si quieren practicar pronunciación, el estrés y todo, pueden pausarla, darle play, pausar. Entre más practiquen es mejor. Yeah. Teacher, yes. what is the meaning for assignment? Assignment. Son como yes. cosas que, tareas que a ustedes le asignan, asignaciones. Eh, 
así le llama. Yo cuando digo assignments, como que, ay, no. Oh, <ríe> en los assignments. Otros, sí, nos cargan asignaciones en el tiempo que no estamos en el teléfono, las tenemos que hacer entre llamada y, y, y todas, y de repente es como que, ay, no, <ríe> se nos viene el folder. Eh, cosas que tenemos que hacer, asignaciones, uh -huh. assignment. Por ejemplo, yo le digo, ok, eh, José, uh, I need you to write a report. That is your assignment. Le asigné un trabajo, una tarea. Ok. Uh, I say, Maylin, I need you to email these customers. Necesito que le mande emails a estos clientes. Entonces le estoy haciendo, asignando, le estoy dando una tarea, algo que hacer. Esos son assignments. Ok. Uh -huh. Thanks, Very teacher. good. Y yo asumo, y por eso les digo, pregunto, si hay alguna palabra o algo que quieran, eh, sí, háganmelo saber. Eh, Stephanie, vi que levantó la manita. What is the pronunciation de satélite? Satellite. Satellite. Yeah, satellite. ¿Cómo? Satellite. 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 Ah, es como que lo que más suena es sa satellite. Y de ahí vamos para abajo. Satellite. 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 Y la E no suena. Satellite. Yeah. Very good. Any other question? New word, vocabulary. Okay, so let's see. Uh, we have a, a conversation. Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, yes, so we have a conversation here. Uh, we're going to listen to the one that we have in the platform, pay attention to pronunciation, and then we're going to have time for practicing it. Let's see, Ay, what is that? Mm. Se oye a Bob Esponja. ¿Cómo? Se oye a Bob Esponja por ahí. I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't see that. It's Estaba... my husband. It's my husband. <laughs> Estaba viendo otra cosa. Yeah, I, I didn't see that. <laughs> Si sí, a veces pasa, estoy en otra cosa o veo de repente el mensaje de veo WhatsApp o estoy viendo otra cosa y una vez pasó que no sé quién estaba regañando y que no sé qué y que no te has bañado. Yo, sí, <ríe> inconscientemente le contesté que sí, yo sí. Entonces sí, a veces como que no nos damos cuenta de qué pasa ahí. So, igual si de repente me dicen algo y no es como que pónganme un chat o un WhatsApp o algo, ahí estoy tratando de ver todo. Okay, let's see, syllable stress. And we have the conversation. Can I borrow your cell phone? So we're going to listen. And after that, we are going to practice. Let me see, I'm sure, okay. Hi again, listen to the audio program. Please pay attention because at the end of the conversation, I will ask you some questions. Get ready. Listen and practice. Can I borrow your phone to call my boss? I can't believe you still don't have a cell phone. Here you go. Thanks. Now, what do I need to do? First of all, be sure to turn it on. And don't forget to dial the area code. Okay, I can see the number, but I can't hear anything. That's because you haven't pressed the call button. Oh, good. It's ringing. Try not to get too excited. You'll probably get his voicemail. Hi, this is Joe Jones. You're right. It's a recording. Sorry, right Make sure to hit the end button, or else you'll leave our conversation on his voicemail. Ready? Who owns the phone? Who are they calling? What's the first thing to do? What should the woman press? If you're not sure about the answers, you may listen to the audio program as many times as you need to. Good luck. Okay, so let me share the conversation slide with you. Let's see. 
Uh, this is kind of different, but the purpose, it is the basically the same. Uh, as I told you before, uh, sometimes I, I use different materials because I'm taking a screenshot for the platform, sometimes cannot uh, work. Uh, so let's listen to this one. It says, I give up. What is that? I give up. What does it mean? I give up. Eh, como me rindo. Yeah, me rindo. Ya no, no más tiro la toalla. I give up. Darse okay. por vencido. Darse por vencido. That's exactly. Okay, so. Uh, let's see. Um, I'll give you some time for you to read the conversation. And then you tell me if there is any new word here or vocabulary that you would like to discuss. And you have one minute to read the conversation. Okay, questions? Teacher? Yes? The pronunciation is highlight? Yes, highlight. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Any other question? Is there other word that we can use instead of the track? Just drag them to the playlist? on the Rachel bar at the bottom. The next one, there, up, up. Just drag them to the playlist. Uh, this is like drag is like arrastrar, drag. So, oh. um, <laughs> so the question is? Oh, there, if there is another, uh war for drag when we may like or it depends of the sentence because i understand that it's for like desplazar i think mm -hmm. yes in this case cuando estamos en eso it's the only one that i know at least the one that i know la única que conozco cuando estamos haciendo eso de de, de arrastrar con el mouse en estos términos is a drug. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. You're more than welcome. Any other? Okay, let's practice pronunciation. Let's repeat this conversation. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, action. I give up. I can't figure this out. I give up. I, give up. I can't figure I give up. this out. What's wrong? What's wrong? What's, What's wrong? wrong? What's wrong? I'm trying to create a song playlist for my party on Saturday. I'm, I'm trying, trying to, to create, create a song, song playlist, playlist, playlist on Saturday. Saturday. On Saturday. On Saturday. On Saturday. I can help. It's really easy. First, Choose new playlist from the menu. I can I help. help. It's really easy. Please Please choose choice. Choice. Play 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 the playlist from the menu. The menu. 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 Here. Oh, I see. Here. Here. Oh, yes. oh, oh I, see. I see. Now type in the name of your playlist. Then go to your song file and choose the ones you want. 
Type in the name. Type in the name. Type in the name. Okay, but how do I choose the song? Just drag them to the playlist. Be sure to press the keys to highlight more than one song. That was easy. Thanks. So you're coming on Saturday? That was, that was easy. easy. Yeah. So are you, are you coming, coming on Saturday? On Saturday? Of course, but don't forget to include my favorite songs on your playlist, okay? Of course. Don't forget to include my favorite songs on your playlist, okay? Okay. Good. So I'm going to create the groups so you can practice more. I know the first time can be difficult. La primera vez que hacemos el ejercicio puede ser difícil, pero a medida que vayan repitiendo lo van a ir haciendo un poquito más rapidito. So I'm going to create the groups. Uh, this is the one that you have in the same presentation. Siempre les mando la presentación y si agrego algo nuevo se las reenvío. Pero como hoy no he agregado nada bueno, eh, nada bueno. Ay, Dios mío. <risa> Jesús, ya no soy yo. <risa> Necesito el fin de semana. Ok, so, eh, no agregué nada nuevo, entonces sigue siendo la, la misma de ayer. Ok, so. Pero sí son buenas, ¿verdad? Ok, break up rooms. How many participants? 25. All right. Six. Ok, so, ready? Let us practice. Remote control. Where is that connection? Invite to me, share, post more, break up rooms, meeting information, hi name, share some optimized broadcast. Mm. Let me work. The person. The oh, presentation sorry. is in WhatsApp. He was the big teacher. Yes. Sorry, teacher. Yeah. Maybe we can start that. Teacher, take an advantage. Can I? Oh, yes, yes, oh, sure. Uh, this is the first verbs. Figure this out. Figure out is, is similar or is equal to say figure this out, figure out versus figure this out yes you can uh, assist us at two part word you can do the, the in both ways as you did it I can't figure this out or I can figure out this yeah oh okay okay if if I'm talking about to resolve a puzzle any one puzzle I can say that I can figure out or I can resolve uh, both, both are correct. Okay. So you can say, I can't figure out how to uh, put these things together. Yeah. All right. Good. Welcome. Uh, ready? Yes, we're ready, I think. Yeah. Uh -huh. I'm sharing the, the, the screen so you can uh, see the presentation the conversation someone sent it to the whatsapp group uh, that's i can be rachel 
and other one can be Terry. Okay, together, together, together. That's so. Well, who's there? Okay, really Bob, I can figure this out. What's wrong? I'm trying to create a song playlist for my party on Saturday. I can I can help. It's really easy. First, choose new playlist from the menu. Here? Oh, I see. Now type in the name of the, your playlist, then go to your song file and choose the ones that you want. But how do I choose the song? Just drag them to the playlist. Be sure press these keys to highlight more than one song. That was easy. Thanks. Are you coming on Saturday? Of course, but don't forget to include my favorite song on your playlist, okay? Excellent. Thank you, teacher. Now, the rest of the participants and or you can also exchange. But in order, para que no esperen mucho los demás, pueden eh, los que no han participado hacer este role play y luego eh, fueron Stephanie y Byron, ¿verdad? No me fijé, no. No lo veo aquí, solo negrito. Ok, y luego lo pueden hacer a, a la forma inversa de como lo acaban de hacer. Ok, Rodrigo, you choose. I give it up. I can't figure this out. What's wrong? I'm trying to create the song playlist for my party on Sunday. I can help you. I can help. It's really easy. First, choose new playlist from the menu. Here? Oh, I see. Now type in the name of your playlist, then go to your song file and choose the ones you want. But how do I choose the song? Just drag them to the playlist. Be sure to press this key case to highlight more than one song. That was easy. Thanks. So are you coming on Saturday? Of course, but don't forget to include my favorite songs on your playlist, okay? Very good, nice job. Okay, continue. Forget that I'm here. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry for the bug. Okay, no worries. No worries. Uh, so you can continue. No sé si Byron no va a poder, pero pueden los demás igual. Pueden cambiar incluso de, de... si ya, por ejemplo, ya pasó Joana con Byron, no puede ser a Joana con Rodrigo y así. Pueden ir intercambiando. I can be Rachel at this time and, and Joanna can be Terry if she wants to practice that. Okay, Joanna. Or someone else, so if they want to change. Mm -hmm. I can be there. Okay, Rafael, thank you. I give up. I can figure this out. What's wrong? I'm trying to create a song playlist from my party on Saturday. I can help. It's really easy. First, choose new playlist from the menu. Here? Oh, I see. Now, type in the name of your playlist. Then go to your to your sound file and choose the ones you want. But how I do how do I choose the song? Just drag them to the playlist. Be sure to press the these keys to highlight more than one song. That's what's easy. Thanks. So are you coming on Saturday? Of course, but don't forget to include my favorite song on your playlist, okay?
Very good. Anybody else? It's one minute to finish. Just one question before. Uh, is that okay how I said and choose the ones you want? Or yeah. it has to be choose the ones you want, like slow or like choose the ones you want? That's okay. A veces, so, eh, en este caso, eh, lo dijo bien, pero como va bien unido, entonces. Eh, Está bien así, porque si no habría que hacer pausa para no unir la otra S con la, entonces es, ya se oye como se trabó o algo pasó por ahí. So, pero okay. está bien así como lo hizo. A veces okay. no, 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 no se distingue por lo mismo que um, se unen. Por ejemplo, ay, creo que me va a sacar el breakout room. No. Yeah. No. <laughs> okay, so we said, um, I like, if I said it's in past, you say, you know that esta pronunciación en past termina con T, ¿verdad? T sound, light, right? Light, yeah. y si yo digo light it, no, no lo puedo pausar porque light it, so like it. Mm -hmm. So, for example, when I was a child, I used to buy ice cream because I liked it. Ya no me gusta, antes sí, ¿verdad? Como por ejemplo. Pero no sé, pero lo que le va a hacer saber usted que estoy hablando en pasado es que le dije, when I was a child, I used to buy ice cream because I liked it. ¿Ya? Yeah? Oh. Pero es bien mínimo para escuchar esa diferencia de liked it. Es, es bien, um, que no, no es muy marcado. Para marcarlo yo tendría que decir liked it. Y no es ok en inglés. No. <laughs> Sounds weird. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Gracias. You're welcome. Okay, it's uh we're going to continue. It's about to rain here. What? Uh I think I didn't hear. Okay. I'll do it one more time. My recording, yes. Okay, so we already practice the, give me one second. Hi, it's raining here, so um, I had to close the window. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, it's being hot, but I know it's because it was going to rain. Okay, so in this conversation, it's because the next topic, it's going to be imperatives. What do you know about imperatives? What is an imperative? Mm. No it's, idea. So yeah, oh, it, 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 imper, imperatives is similar uh, like a uh, order because you have to do it. Aha, uh -huh. very good. Imperatives are orders, in position, directions. Yes, instructions. Instructions. Excellent. So. Let us watch the video about the imperatives and then we're going to continue discussing and practicing this topic. Mm, let me sure again. Uh, um. mm. 
-hmm. Can you see my screen? I'm in the platform. Yes. Sure. Yes. Okay. Hello everyone. Before you watch the video, I want to remind you that imperatives are commands and they don't need a subject. Also, for giving suggestions, we will use an imperative as well as an infinitive. Stay around for more explanation. Imperatives and infinitives for giving suggestions. Be sure to turn it on. Don't forget to dial the area code. Make sure to hit the end button. Remember to pay the bill every month. Try not to talk for too long. This is how we use imperatives and infinitives for giving suggestions. When using an imperative, the subject is never mentioned and they always begin with a verb. And as said on the previous explanation, the infinitive is to plus a verb. Now let's think about a situation. These two kids are new to their English class and they say, we don't understand English. So let's give them a suggestion. We can say, study your verbs. But this sounds more like an instruction. So to make it a bit more polite and to actually sound like a suggestion, we may add, make sure to study your verbs. Check at the beginning we have no subject and then a verb, which means it's an imperative. Make sure. Moving forward to our infinitive to study. So when we put an imperative with an infinitive together, we can come up with a great suggestion. We will leave you now with some common expressions we use as imperatives to give suggestions. Be sure, make sure, don't forget, remember, try. Let's make examples using these expressions. Be sure to practice with your friends. Make sure to use a dictionary. Don't forget to think in English. Remember to do your English homework. Try to pronounce properly. Now read these suggestions. Be sure to speak in your native language. Make sure to forget your dictionary. Don't forget to stay quiet in class. Remember to translate into your native language. Try to mispronounce the words. You will agree with me that they are not good suggestions to give an English student. Therefore, we need to add the word not to make them positive suggestions. So the word not will go between the imperative and the infinitive. Now it is your turn. Ready to come up with examples of your own? Try it and write them on our discussion box. Okay, so what else did you take from the video? I don't understand the final part con los negativos no entendí si le tenemos que agregar el no el not o ok ok yes um, eh, un imperativo es una common una orden y they can be in affirmative and in negative eh, pero podemos hacerlo en esta forma porque los imperativos pueden sonar rude, pueden sonar como groseros. Si yo le digo a... Uh, uh, don't leave the computer on. Si yo le digo, no dejes la computadora encendida. Don't leave the computer on. Puede sonar grosero. Entonces, para suavizarlo, le puedo decir, don't forget to turn the computer off. Entonces, ya se, se suaviza. O le puedo decir, make sure, asegúrate, make sure not to leave the computer on. Asegúrate de no dejar la computadora encendida. Suena diferente, ¿verdad? Suena más polite. Pero ahí ya tenemos que componer más la oración. Y de hecho eso se, se hace mucho con los eh, imperatives. Porque un imperative es una orden y puede sonar como si estamos siendo groseros. Y no podemos... Por ejemplo, si yo le voy a decir algo a mi jefe usando un imperativo, tengo que tener mucho cuidado de no sonar grosera, ¿verdad? Porque uno va a decir, ve, y hasta hoy los patos le disparan a las escopetas, ¿verdad? Entonces, en ese caso es que tenemos que suavizar los imperatives. Entonces, se puede suavizar usando un please, 
please don't forget to do this. Please don't leave the computer open. Oh, do, uh, open, <laughs> on. <laughs> please don't <laughs> leave, leave the computer on. Oh, don't leave the computer on, please. So, se puede agregar el please al principio o al final. O hacerlo de esta manera, que era la última, eh, haciéndolo como afirmativo, pero negativo a la vez, ¿verdad? Usando el sí, not sure. to. Uh -huh. I can use it, I would like. Eh, eh, sí, aunque no es común, pero como es más, más, uh, sí se usa a veces, I would like for you to give me clearer instructions, eh, me gustaría que me des instrucciones más claras, sí, se puede con el would like, or I would like you to please um, uh, do me this favor or oh, I would like you to please send me the reports earlier. Mm -hmm. Se puede así de esa forma también. Y sí, hay que como elaborar, vea, para que no suene, estoy dándote una orden porque no a todos les podemos decir así. Hey, if your brother, yes, you can say, hey, don't do this and that, do this. So you think can give orders, but yeah, in some cases we cannot. And uh, we're going to discuss more about this topic tomorrow. Mañana vamos a entrar más en detalle en los comments. Cómo dar un comment afirmative, negative, y cómo no sonar tan rude. So, avancen okay. lo más que puedan en la plataforma, porque sí me dijeron que hay dos personitas que están a 0%. No voy a decir los nombres, no sean así. Todavía no. Pero si para el fin de semana, el lunes sí les voy a decir quiénes son. ¿Ok? Oh, <laughs> See, you. Okay. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 See Bye. you. Bye. 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 Good night. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye.